Hello everyone, we're deep in it. No vice this time. But I figured I'd switch out some of the soldiers for some of the newer ones. Fear I take Yoko, because, I don't know, she's some sort of, like, 40-year-old housewife. And I was never super interested in Elise. And, uh, I guess everyone would be interested in the cutscene. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. And I'm going to throw Dallas in for Nadine, because Nadine's nice, but uh, Dallas is a man-hating lesbian, and, uh, I mean, I can't resist that. I'd like to thank you for the time you spent. If you ever need it, I'd be happy to help. Did Elise get a leaving cutscene? Did that just not happen? Well, whatever, I don't care. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. I wasn't super excited. Also, for some reason, Dallas likes all the women that are already on my team, so, you know, it'll be a good match for this one person who I've actually paid attention to that on. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. And since we're here, since we've got our first enemy weapon, I figured I'd show that off. I'm pretty sure it's a shock trooper weapon. Well, basically, you can either take the normal weapons that you're upgrading in the, uh, research and development you're doing, or the enemy weapons, which have different stats. So you can see here, uh, their weapon has, uh, more attack but less accuracy. John Shock Troops, honestly, accuracy is not a super big thing since you're a point blank. And obviously there's only one. And as far as I know, they don't benefit from upgrades like yours do, so... I mean, eventually it's gonna be outclassed anyway, but for now... Oh, that's range that's going down as well, that's... I was almost okay with it. You know, we can, uh... Benefit from a super close range crazy weapon. Let's give it to Wendy. Yeah. Alright, so that's that. Now, before we begin chapter 6, uh, the uh, reporter actually had some uh, more cuts in, so let's go to that. Report. A taste of home. Oh, thank God, did they finally eat the pig? Done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Well, who's there? That's not dead. Did that thing get a medal? Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Oh, you sure are smart. Wait, wait, wait. How'd the, how'd the pig open the door? <laughs> that pig knows too much. It's an Imperial spy. Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? Timmy's stuck in the well? <laughs> that doesn't help me, Hans. I don't I don't speak that. Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop fighting my boots already. You went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. To think that this pig is a more important character than Vice is? Truly there's no justice in the world. I gotta take Wendy at this point. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Oh no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Walken? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Dude's got the munchies, he doesn't know why. Really? Oh good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. Didn't even know we had a kitchen. Wow. Bread. I've never seen so much bread in one place. It's as baked you as I am. This yourself, Alicia? Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so. I helped myself. Mm, it smells great. Okay, here goes. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. I love the soft breading music we got going on in the background. <gasps> ah, God, it's been poisoned. Alicia, you traitor's whore. You okay? Delicious. Never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um, 
Like, the weed jokes write themselves. I, I'm sorry, I can't look at... I mean... Welcome. you look like a chipmunk. Uh, you know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why! I mean, that's a response to that, I guess. I thought this was, like, the reporter's story. Does she not show up? Not that I have a huge problem with that, because as far as characters go, I'm actually not a huge fan of the reporter. Her entire character seems to be to force oh, backstory. So but, you know, whatever. That was great, huh, Hans? Mike. I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. It's actually a strange surprise that people enjoy what I cook. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, Welkin, uh, you have some... There's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? If she doesn't get rid of that crumb, all the uh, troops with neat freaks start losing stats. Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. I mean, you know, to run an establishment full of food, you need licenses and all that. How crazy! A little girl, it's what I enjoy doing the most. I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. She comes in with a big basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Well, can take the hint. I want a family. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? All right, this isn't a really elaborate fantasy. She could say, "Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard," and then she'd. <laughs> uh... Well, can take the hint. I want a bearded man. Listen to me. <laughs> That's. Just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin, but I, um... Are... are you alright, Alicia? Huh? Maybe a few I'm bullets fine. to the head? Anyway, I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. It's a deal. And thanks again. Eh, yeah, whatever. I guess the reporter story is just a little... Side backstories for the characters, whatever, that's fine with me. Now for chapter 6 proper. Uh, just so you know, the chapter 5 was about as far as I'd ever gotten before. I remember that mission. I don't remember anything else that happened past this, so I'm assuming I didn't play past chapter 5. So from this point forward, we're as, I'm as blind as, well, most of you. I don't know how many of you play this game. I know Red hasn't. So I can't wait. Does that radio make that sound the whole time? Wow, wait, hold on, we have two tanks. I didn't realize our armor's so stocked. You know what? This is one strange place. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. God, are those Welkin's pot well watermelons? They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. We all know what happened. The Darkson calamity. Oh, good. It's been a while since we had a little racism. I missed it. Dark used some kind of dark arts to burn the city. Left nothing but ash. I mean, fire isn't really dark arts, it's just fire. Can't see what kind of magic you'd use to burn up this much land, though. It's just crazy. I don't know. Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence. Look, their kind has been digging up Ragnite since forever. So who's to say they don't know some weird, dark city type way to use the stuff as a weapon? I'm just I mean, saying. Rory confirmed anyway, that uh, Ragnar barrels explode. We are Is this really sorcery? Badlands. And what exactly are we doing here? 
We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> She's right. Something is definitely up here. I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! Tanks at 040. Distance 800. Hold on. Yes. There are foot soldiers as well. And they're taking up combat positions. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Yeah, our bright blue tank is very Squad poorly seven, camouflaged for the area. Formation. I didn't think you could look any gloomier. Oh, it's you. Leave me be. I'm brooding. No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? Is Grace Maximilian. How does he keep his hair looking so fabulous? Varius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? Oh, wait, hold on. He's with that force? He took Selvaria with him. So it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. Can we retreat yet? Can we just leave? His grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyrer. Maybe. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyrer is enough to claim all of Europa. Maybe the entire globe. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. The stronger you are, the shorter that road. I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Relax. We'll hear all about their desert adventures soon enough. Well, time to start the mission. That didn't take long. This chapter is oddly short. You will now be briefed on the operation. Are you telling me how to play the game? I already know how to use teleportation cat magic. Wow, oh, what a strange camp with only spots for two people. Well. Yeah, I guess I'll have a shark trooper grab that guy. I brought Hans along. Let's do that. Oh, I guess I'm the shock trooper. Uh, I guess we haven't brought Alex. Uh, but screw Alex. Let's bring Wendy. I like Wendy. All right, you're set to begin. Good luck. The enemy's spread out through the desert region. Squad Seven, move out. The pose is important when you tell your soldiers to move out. Those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground, too. Must have really been some explosion. Are you serious? 
That's crazy. Yeah, but those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. On an open field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out. I'm already calling it now. There's some sort of weapon buried here. We're about to find uh, fantasy World War II nukes buried in this desert. Wow, okay, that's a long map. Oh, God, they've got a sniper. Ah, crap, he's crouching too. Oh, they got another one. Now it's not crouching. God dang it. Okay, whoever's down there, will he stop shooting me? Is it really that guy? I didn't want to... Mm, mm, well... That was... You know, I regret all that. Where is that skiff? There he is. Go down. Oh, hello. I'm gonna take another shot at that sniper. God dang it, Cesare. Now if you die, you deserved it. My turn, okay? Oh yeah, trenches. Crouching time. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Well. I'm gonna send you this way. Alright, back into the trenches. I'm gonna bake out here before they can shoot me. And who are these people on the radar just kinda speaking to me? They don't sound like my troops. That was a good run. Covered lots of distance. Too far to shoot anything. Yeah. Alright, one more shot, Cesare. This is all you're getting. Because then you're out of ammo. Finally. See what you get? Man down. Everybody be careful. Should be fine just standing out here, so we're gonna let her. I might regret that, but Shark Troopers are decently powerful. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was gonna take care of this problem. Let's just shift her a bit over here so she's not in line of sight. 
And good enough. Oh, wow, whatever. See, now that's what an accurate sniper looks like. I didn't go for the head, though. Oh, don't crouch again. God dang it. Oh, God. I guess Cesare deserves that. This is Woken's fault, I agree. I mean, there's, you can do that. Oh, wow. That's nice. Here I come. Yeah, Rosie was fun. Oh god! Okay, Rose is still fine. I never expect Lancer to just take shots at infantry. I guess I don't see why not, but you know, whatever. Alright, let's rescue Cesar. Please help! Hans take liking to small man! Please advance with caution. Oh, whatever. He's probably never going to get in the thick of it, but. Now, let's see. Uh, it's not really any good target to the sniper. Let's move her up a bit. Oh, I can hit that scout. Luna is a much better sniper than Cesare. This cause a little havoc with Alicia. In fact, is there even anyone guarding this base? Can I just take it? Now, so much for the reinforcements. Enemy sighted. Hmm. Enemy sighted. You just sit behind a wall. Nice work. Keep taking them. I actually could have used that wall. Oh well. Let's use this one. Speaking of, since we're here... I mentioned I love shock troopers. Oh, there are tanks up there. Alright, you know what, let's start moving Largo up. Not much out here, it'll be fine out cover. And now Wendy and Rosie clear up these lancers. That is a landmine I ran past. Oh 
Oh, All right, she's using the enemy rifle. That's not too bad accuracy wise. Her circles, I noticeably bigger, but it's not awful. You made a poor choice by standing up here. A desert allergy? Okay, well I made a poor choice bringing you, didn't I? Why is it only now kicking in? Oh, he is crouching. That's his crouching animation. No, I'm, I can work with this. I'll just take two turns. I guess I should have sent Wendy after this guy. Don't mind me. Just gonna take your trench from you. Actually, since she's so far up, I'm gonna use one of my new orders. Which I actually don't know if this is better or worse than just using the Ragnar healing, but I got a healing order. So I guess now's a good time. I have to order them to heal. People won't do anything on their own. I still can't tell if that was better or worse than the Ragnar healing, but whatever. Let's move I go. Fine. We could fry an egg on the hood of this thing. That was a man specifically talking about a tank on a radio, so it's not my squad member, because that's not Welkin or Asara. I don't know who's on my radio. Am I just hearing enemy transmissions or That's right, it was cancelled. I, mean, I, I can't stop you there. Oh, dear lord. I'm apparently in firing range. Ah, let's see where we go. Ah, oh, gotta get Largo up there. I honestly don't know how I'm going to get Largo past there. Oh, he's not even crouching. I thought he was. Well, now the problem. Where do I go from here? The next trench is way up there. Well, I guess I'll just go on the left side. Oh, this is so dumb. Okay, you're crouching, you're crouching. There's no easy way around this. Alright, we're gonna try something crazy. Looks like the wind's really picking up. Okay, well I've made a mistake, haven't I? I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. These badlands are infamous for sandstorms, bad enough to drop visibility. Okay, no wait, this will help me. I see. It'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes, but the same applies to the enemy. Now is our chance to advance undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when crossing ground with no natural cover. Good idea. Thanks, Ease. How convenient. I want all of you returning alive. Now, oh, okay, no, he sees me. Mm, please, no. 
Oh, okay, okay alright. Yeah, I can use this. He's facing that way. Alright, her movement's awful. Let's do it again. So dumb. It's facing that way. That's not the sound a grenade makes, Aiko. But now what? If the sandstorm doesn't last till that turn, even if it does, that tank might just obliterate me. I could make a run for the base. That sounds so dumb. And if it fails. That's so risky. I like Ika too much. Not that she's much safer here, but... I'm gonna get Rosie into a trench. Oh god. Please, Rosie, get in the trench. Don't heal yourself. I mean, you're also pretty hurt. I wanted you to heal Ika. Well, whatever. At this point, we just hope the tanks don't see them for whatever reason. This is my new plan, it is to hope. Mmm, plans fall apart? Yeah, they know. God dang it. No, nothing exact. Don't reveal your positions, you idiots. You better run. Huh. Okay, thank God it missed. Oh, well, Sandstorm's over. That's not good. I have to make a run for that base. That is my only chance at this point. Shock Trooper's aiming slide off to the side, so maybe you won't see me coming. Oh, the sniper's not even crouching. Nice work. Well, I guess it's just kill the Shock Trooper, take the base at this point. You know, I have so many command points. We're gonna take the shot because it's funny. Should we get accuracy boost? This is it, the dream shot. 
I can't even see him from here. God dang it, I need to stop hitting that button. Whatever, she wasn't gonna get it anyway. Wow, yeah, she can't even see that far. You know what? Screw him, just gonna. I'm just gonna kill him. Please go away. What a convenient sandstorm that made that a lot easier. Operation complete. We took their base. What's this supposed to be anyway? What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an architect. You come here often? Remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins interior. Do these ruins have an interior? It really is I mean, I guess there's that building. I've never seen anything like it. Most of it's burnt out desert though. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkor themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkor make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Valkor just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? I swear to God, if you compare this building to like a bug shell or like a turtle or something. The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. Alright, now I'm even more confused. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. Oh, God dang it, it was an animal. Pointy spiral shells. I hate you so much, Welkin. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Welkin, you can be such a... Nerd? Idiot? Stoner? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. Like those three tanks that we didn't destroy. What happened to them? All right, sir. Please be careful. Like what? We take their base, so they just can't retreat. They had us outnumbered on the whole tanks thing. Tell me, Silvaria. Do these walls offer an answer to our search? Nice cycle effect. I pray. Where sleeps the ancient power? Okay, well, I don't. What is. What do you read, child? Valkor, the Holy Lance, scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Randwings. Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept there by for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. Now we're going to comment on the fact that she was glowing a few minutes ago. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Well, that's a note to end it on. Chapter 7. The Battle at Barius. 
Well, as the end of chapter 6, I hope you enjoy cliffhangers and mysterious glowing that they're not going to explain. <laughs>